Hello and welcome to episode 43 of Working in Todoist, my series on all things Todoist. In this episode, I want to show you a new feature that came out this week from Todoist. It came out on the, let me just have a look, on the 5th of May. And for those of you guys out there who use Slack for work, and Slack, for those of you who don't know, is a kind of hybrid between email and instant messaging. Uh, a really, really cool uh, tool for those people who are communicating with remote teams or even with it teams within the same office. <clears throat> and Todoist has um, added the feature where you can add Todoist to your Slack channels. And to do that, it's very simple. You just uh, go to the blog post. I found the best way to do it is to go to the blog post, which I'll put a link in the comment section, in the notes section below. And all you'd need to do is click on this button here, add to Slack, which I found was the easiest way to do it. And I have a quick screencast to show you that in a moment. But essentially, once you've set it up, basically it's going to work like this. So here's my uh, version of uh, Slack. And if I imagine that I'm saying uh, to a sending him, imagine I'm somebody else other than myself at the moment. So Carl, can you send me the PDF file when it is finished? So imagine that message was sent to me and I go, oh, right. Yes, I've got to send that. So what I would do then is if you type in forward slash to doist, um, and then I can say send PDF file to Carl and I can add my label by just doing the usual thing. So uh, add email because I'm going to email it to him and I could actually put a date in here too. So um, I could put Tuesday and I can actually assign a project which I'm not going to do but you to sign on a project you can just type in that. And I could put in, um, let's say, uh, student affairs because uh, I know I have. So click on send. And what you'll notice on the in my to do is now is I've got send PDF file to Carl affairs. It's got uh, project student affairs labels email when on the 10th of May. So. Um, if I go into my Todoist now and I go to my student affairs folder, you'll see down at the bottom right here, you will see send PDF file to Carl. Uh, I know, okay, I've put affairs in there and Tuesday. So it's come up for me. Uh, obviously, just to send something to my uh, inbox, all I do is Todoist, uh, forward slash Todoist, um, and say, remember. Um, PDF file send and what you'll notice is all I've got is project inbox remember PDF really really simple to send um, <clears throat> tasks to your inbox because here we go remember PDF it's just come straight into my PDF file so anyway here's how to set it up here we have the uh, to do is blog post and what you do is click on the add to slack button and that will take you to Slack and you can choose which channel or which team you want to use the to do is with. I would probably advise you to choose all of them. But just for this demo, I've chosen authorize the Slack channel FES. So now when I go into my uh, FES English and Slack channel, I can type in um, forward slash to doist and that's basically all I have to do and so that's all you have to do to set up slack with to doist it can for those of you using to do is at uh, slack this is will be an amazing uh, help to your productivity because you can do send tasks on the fly as you are working in slack so Thank you to all the guys at Todoist for enabling this feature for us. And it surely is going to save us a lot of time. So I hope you found this episode useful. 
uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below and of course as I always ask if you have any special features that you'd like me to cover in Todoist please also leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be happy to try and do uh, an episode for you. So until next time have a very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.